Yo, how you guys doing out there today? This is Stefan Jimenez from the Red Obese team, and I'm here to present you our NBA picks for Monday, January 8th. If you're new to this channel, please make sure and click the subscribe button below. This way you can watch all of our NFL, NBA, and MLB videos. And please make sure and click the like button on this video as it really helps us out. Um, so before we jump into this um, eight-game slate, let's just quickly go over a couple things. First thing first, your boy is on fire right now. Five-day win streak, FanDuel, and DraftKings, I'm crushing. Up about 2,500 the past five days. Um, you know, NBA is my favorite sport. I mean, everybody's going to have up and downs. But right now, we're rolling. Got to love it. Um, next order of business, we got a new app. It's coming out in about two to three weeks. This app is going to be a game changer for the DFS industry. You're going to be able to go into this app. You're going to be able to optimize 50 lineups at one time, download them through the app to a CSV file and be able to put them um, and be able to put them, you know, on your FanDuel or, or DraftKings, um, you know, load them up in there. So, yeah, hey, it's going to be awesome. Um, so stay, stay tuned for that. You know, like I said, make sure and click the subscribe button and that notification um, button, you know, on our channel. This way you don't miss any of our videos. And, hey, let's get into it. All right. So. You know, nice ace game slate. There's a lot of spots that uh, are looking pretty juicy. Uh, first, we'll talk about Houston going into Chicago to face the Bulls. This game has the highest total on the slate of 221 um, projected points to be scored, and Houston's favored by five. Then we've got Cleveland going into Minnesota to face the Timberwolves. This game has a 220 implied total, and Cleveland's favored by one. Um, next, we got Toronto going into Brooklyn to face the Nets. This game has a 218 implied total, and Toronto is favored by 7.5. Um, then we got Milwaukee going into Indiana um, to face the Pacers. This game has a 214 implied total. Indiana is favored by 1.5. And um, then you got Al Atlanta. It's going to be on the second end of a back to back. Going, um, Actually, they're, they're in, they played the Lakers today. They're staying in LA. And they're going to play the Clippers tomorrow. This game has a 213 implied total. And the Clippers are favored by four. Um, another game that I really like, but there's a lot of injury news and updates that we're going to need tomorrow. It's going to be Denver going in um, to Golden State to face the Warriors. Um, the Bay is going to be live. This is going to be a great game to target. Um, so definitely keep an eye on the injury news tomorrow. So, hey, let's jump into our picks and let's get this going. Start at point guard, as always. Um, Chris Paul. Okay, so this is my thing with Chris Paul. I'm going to say Chris Paul is a GPP play, not really a cash game play. Um, it's not about the matchup. It's not about any of that. The thing is, is I feel 10.2 is a really high price tag for Chris Paul. That's 51 for him to hit value. He's averaging about 42 on the season. And, um, I mean, if you just look, I mean, I think he's going to get you right around, you know, anywhere from 40 to 45, you know, on a given night. But just needing 51 for him to hit value is what scares me. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he could definitely put up a 60, 70 um, spot if he absolutely goes nuts. You know, Chris Paul is Chris Paul, you know, but it's tough. The t price tag is tough. So I think he is a good play against um, the Bulls. They are weak against point guards, but, I mean, the price is just kind of, uh, um, but definitely take a look at Chris Paul still. We got Curry. I mean, the guy's just playing out of his mind right now. I think it's going to be a really good game against Denver. It's going to be very up-tempo, and I think I like Curry for 400 less against Chris, um, instead of Chris Paul. Curry's just been on fire since he came back. 9,800 price tag for him to hit value. You need about 49. Um, you know, he's averaging 46 on the season, and he's been right there, 47, 50, 47. And 63 and only uh, three quarters. This is nuts. The guy's killing it, especially if Durant's out. Then I'm really going to like Curry tomorrow. We got Lowry going against Brooklyn. You need 40 for him to hit value. He's averaging 35 on the season. Um, I think he is a little bit more of a GPP play as well. Um, but the price is, I mean, it's fair. He's going to play the minutes if it's a close game. It's going to be an up-tempo game against Brooklyn. They are favored. Um, but, I mean, like I said, you need the 39-40 for him to hit value. And, I mean, he's only hit 40 one time in the past five games. So, I mean, I definitely think he's a great play. I just think he's a little bit overpriced. I mean, that's, I mean, there's a bunch of people that I feel are a little bit overpriced, but, I mean, the matchup's there, and they're still a good play. I just kind of, I always try to get my best bang for bucks when I pick my players. I don't really try to pay, uh, overpay for people. Um, Bledsoe, he's a guy, his price is just fair. I mean, he's right there. 
Um, you know, his price hasn't went up, you know, very much. That's what you got to like. I mean, 7500 is very fair. For him to hit value, you need about 37 Um, I mean, one thing I will say is he is up and down, you know, and he could have an off game. Don't get me wrong. Um, but he's averaging 34 on the season. I think, you know, he's going to get you, um, you know, somewhere right there going against Indiana. Um, this is going to be a very up-tempo game. Um, so I really like Bledsoe. And then there's two guys I'm going to talk about quickly. I'm not going to spend as much time on them. Sneaky play. I think he's just sneaky. 6,000. You need 30 for value. He's averaging 29 all season. The guys have been playing, you know, solid minutes, about 30 minutes a game. The past few games, he got you 36 minutes both games. Um, and he, he just, I mean, he's playing well. I mean, he has 40 point upside. Um, but like I said, I think he is a GPP play. He's just a guy you can get. You know, he's probably going to be 5% owned. Um, you know, I think he's sneaky um, with a little bit of upside, um, but definitely a GPP play. One more guy I like is Fox. If. Um, you know, heals out again because he's waiting for his baby. I don't know if he had his baby or not. And, you know, his um, the other point guard's out still. Then that means that even though he's going against the Spurs, I know I don't like the matchup, but he's going to get minutes. And uh, I think, you know, he's a solid play if both of those other guys are out. He's going to play 30 minutes, 30, you know, 32 to 35 minutes. And he does a little bit of everything. Um, you know, that's what you got to like. Like I said, you don't like the matchup. For him to have value, you need about uh, 26, 27. Um, but I just like the opportunity. And, I mean, Spurs haven't been the best against point guards. Um, you know, and I think Kawhi Leonard's going to be out. So it's going to take a hit to their defense. And the Spurs are going to be on a back-to-back. -back. So, at Fox, I think he's a solid play on the low, low end. Shooting guard. I mean, I got to mention the guy just because, I mean, he's a beast. He's, he's been balling all year. And I'm like, he can't keep this up. He can't keep this up. He only played 23 minutes against Chicago. Got 57 fantasy points. I know you're like five steals. It's an outlier. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so if you take those five steals away, he still gets you 42.7 in 23 minutes and that would not be too too bad on this price tag i mean for him to hit value you're going to need about 47 um i mean he definitely has the upside um it's going to be a competitive game against milwaukee the pacers are slightly favored um so i like um oladipo but i mean he is one of those guys that i feel like i'm paying up i'm paying a little bit more for than i would like to pay for him um but i mean he's been showing us the upside all season the rosen 300 less. I mean, these their prices are high, and I don't really like paying up, you know, for for these guys. You know, I, I feel like these guys are a little bit more scoring dependent. But, I mean, DeRozan, he's averaging 40 fantasy points on the season. 9.1 price tag. You need about 45 for him to hit value. I mean, he could definitely get there. I mean, he's, he's been playing very well. Um, in two of the past three games, he's got you at least 57. I know these are outliers. I mean, his normal he's going to get you is going to be pretty much this 37 to probably about 42. Um, but, I mean, he could have a good game. Um, I definitely like him. I'm in this spot going against Brooklyn. It's going to be an up-tempo game. Um, so take a look at DeRozan. We got a guy I always play. Nobody plays him. 7400 His price just always stays the same. For him to be valued, you need about 37. He's averaging 35 on the season. This guy's playing the minutes. That's what you got to really like. Um, I mean, he's playing well. He's averaging 35 fantasy points on the season. And, I mean, he's just consistent. He's somebody that I like playing. I always get him low-owned. Um, he has 50-point upside. Um, you know, fair price, 7.4. I like Middleton. Um, I do like, okay, I'm not going to go into detail. Lou Williams and Eric Gordon. I like both of these guys. I just feel like they're both overpriced. Um, they're a little bit more score independent, in my opinion. If they don't have those big 25-point scoring nights, they're not really going to fill up the stat sheet enough to pay off their price tag of at least 40 for both of them. Um, but, I mean, you can look at them if you do want to find somebody on the um, cheaper end. Um, I like Will Barton and Gary Harris. Um, Will Barton, if he's going to play, you know, 30-plus minutes, I think he's a solid play. Gary Harris is a guy. I mean, it's going to be a very up-tempo game against the Warriors. Gary Harris, you know, he plays a lot of minutes. I like him. Wiggins is a solid play as well. His price tag did jump up a little bit after his uh, his really big game last time outing. A guy I'm going to look at, though. It's Justin Holiday, 5,800. You need 29 for him to hit value. He's averaging 27 on the season. Um, the guy's playing well. I mean, this game, all the Bulls pretty much just sat the whole second half. Um, they got blown out. But before that, I mean, he had 
you know, 37, 38, 40, 34, 36, or seven. He's playing the minutes, something that you really got to like. Um, he's doing a little bit of everything. Like I said, he's averaging 27 on the season. Um, I like him in this spot against Houston. It's going to be a very up-tempo game. He's going to be battling Eric Gordon, who we know is a scorer. He's not really a defender. Um, so I like Holiday in this up-tempo game. Um, then... I mean, you could talk about Bazemore. I mean, he's a guy that's going to get the minutes. He has upside, but he's very up and down. Um, he didn't have a very good game today against the Lakers, and they are on a back-to-back. -back, so, I mean, I like him, but I don't know if I'm going to play him or not. Guy I do like, though, Brogdon. You need 26 for him to hit value. I mean, he's just very consistent. He's getting, you know, 29 to 31 minutes a game pretty much. If they're, if he's playing very well, they will give him massive minutes. Um, you know, and he's, he's just consistent. I mean, not doing nothing special. Don't get me wrong. But he's a guy that's going to give you a solid um, floor. You know what I mean? If you want to pay down a little bit at shooting guard um, for your cash games. I mean, I do like him. I mean, he's the first guy off the bench. He plays two guard and he plays... Um, point guard back up for Bledsoe, and so I think he's a great play once again. So now we'll go to small forward, LeBron. It's going to be a really good game going against Butler and the Timberwolves. We know in you know close games he's going to play the minutes, 37, 38 minutes for sure. Um, I mean, he gives you this is what I'm gonna. This is what really frustrates me about LeBron. I play him two times, and he got me this 38 and this 29. So if I don't play him, he's gonna do fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, but I mean, he he's in a good spot right here. He's gonna be like I said, a very competitive game. Um, you know, he's averaging 55 fantasy points on the season, so he's giving you that high floor. And uh, you know, for him to hit value, you're gonna need about 57. I mean, he could definitely get there in this spot. I think he's gonna play the minutes, and it's gonna come down to the wire. You got Antikupo, a little bit more of a GPP in my opinion, but he's starting to pick it back up. In the past three games, he got you 56 and 29 minutes and a 65 and 40 minutes against Washington. Um, he was kind of, you know, only getting, you know, mid-40s. But, uh, yeah, no, he's starting to play, um, you know, back to what he was in the very beginning of the season. I mean, he's been playing well, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he hasn't been playing well, but he hasn't been getting the stats, getting close to a triple-double, you know, every night. And, uh, you know, that's what he's been doing the past couple games, really crashing the boards and doing a little bit more, being a little more active. Um, but, yeah, Antetokounmpo for GPP. Then we got Butler. He's going to have to play well. Um, going against Cleveland if he wants to win. For him to hit value, you're going to need about 48. He's averaging 40 on the season. Um, he's, I mean, he's been picking it up. He's got 50, he got 60, I think, once this season already. Um, he's going to be battling with LeBron. They're going to go back and forth, back and forth. Um, I think Butler can get you, um, you know, almost just as much as LeBron for a little bit less. But I will say that LeBron does have a higher ceiling, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so Jimmy Butler, I like him going against the King. Then we got Kyle Anderson. I really like this guy. I think he's a cash game staple. You can put him in and just move on. I'm going to do that. Um, I mean, it already they said today that Leonard, um, he had like a partially torn um, sh shoulder or rotator, um, something in his shoulder. And so he's probably guaranteed not going to play tomorrow. Kyle Anderson, he's a guy that when, you know, he isn't, Leonard isn't in, he's, He's at small forward, and he's playing big minutes. Played 35 tonight against Portland. Um, he didn't do nothing special, but, I mean, 23 didn't kill us. 5.7 price tag. We need about 27 for him to hit value. Um, I like him right here against Sacramento tomorrow. And then one more guy, Ariza. He's going to play the minutes. 35 to 38 minutes for sure. Um, I mean, 5.2 price tag, you need 26. He's averaging 25 on the season. He's getting extra shots with uh, James Harden out. It's just all about if the shot's going to go down or not. Um, I mean, he's shown us 40-point upside a couple times this season. Um, I think he's just a consistent player um, on the cheaper end to help you pay up at other spots. Power forward. So, Anthony Davis, anytime he's on the slate, you know, I'm going to have to mention him. Just under 11,000. For him to hit value, you need about 54. Against the Pistons, this is a little bit of a slow-paced game. But he's going to be going against Tobias Harris, who, you know, he's not going to be able to guard Anthony Davis. He had a kind of a down game against Minnesota. So I think that people are going to shy away from him. He's going to be low-owned. But the two games before this one, he went off for 63 and 55. A 47, uh, but then a 69. So, I mean, he's playing well right now. And he's under 11K. 
Um, I think he's a solid GPP play to kind of differentiate yourself. A lot of people are probably going to be on the LeBrons, the Currys, um, you know, those guys. So I definitely think he'll be a little bit low on tomorrow. Blake is probably out. He got a concussion today. Um, Aldridge is going to be on the second end of a back-to-back. -back. He is a solid play. Um, but, I mean, he's not something I'm, I don't know if I'm really going to look at tomorrow. Um, I do like Draymond. Up-tempo game against Denver. It says he's probable um, with knee soreness. I definitely think he's going to play. Um, and he's playing well right now. I mean, he's coming off a triple-double just two games ago. Um, and he's doing his thing, especially if Durant's out. Then he, I think he's going to play a little bit more minutes. Before this last game, it was a blowout. Um, they blew out the Clippers. He played 37 and 38 minutes. And he's a guy that when he's on the floor, he's going to do stuff. And you got to really like that. So I really like Jeremy on this spot against the Nuggets. I think the Nuggets, you know, they're a pretty good team. And they can keep it somewhat competitive. We got Gibson. Uh, hey, he's just a guy, big man. You know he's going to play minutes. Um, you got to like him. Um, it's going to be a competitive game against Cleveland. He's going to, you know, uh, players, you know, in my opinion, they get up for big games when they're facing, you know, Cleveland who went to the finals or the Warriors who went to the finals. People try harder because they're going against, you know, the champs and the people, you know what I mean? And they, they try, you know, that's my opinion. So I like Gibson. 31 for him in value. He's averaging 27 on the season. Um, I mean, he's consistent. He's going to get you, I say, his floor would be about 25, I would say. And he can get you you're probably close to 40, um, you know, upside-wise. So I think he's just a solid cash game play. Next, we got Abaka. Hey, Abaka's just doing Abaka things. I mean... The minutes are down a little bit, which is kind of concerning. But, I mean, for him to hit value, you need about 29. He's averaging 27 on the season. Um, you know, and he's I mean, he's playing well. I mean, he's, gonna, he's very consistent. I think he gives you a floor of probably about 25 as well with a ceiling of close to 40. Him and uh, Gibson are, are very similar plays. Then I'm going to talk about a couple of cheap guys real quick. Crowder, competitive game against Minnesota. I think they'll probably put him on Butler. So usually when there's you know somebody they're trying to stop and they put Crowder on him, he ends up you know getting a couple extra minutes. You know I've seen that. Um, you know it happened. Um, you know a couple times already. So I like Crowder. Four thousand. All you need is twenty for him to hit value. He's averaging sixteen on season. He's gonna start. Um, so you know you gotta like that. So you know I like him. It's gonna be a competitive game. You know, he could get a couple extra minutes. I would say he's probably going to play 26, 27 minutes. Um, and I, I think he's not going to kill you. I mean, he gets you something on the cheaper end so you can pay up elsewhere. Um, so I like Crowder. One more guy. I've played him two straight days. And, you know, I've, I've been cashing. So I'm doing something right. But where is he at? Uh, sorry. Right here, my boy, Bird Tan. I played him back-to-back -back days. Minimum priced. All you need for him to hit value is 17, 18. Um, you know, I played him both of these games. He got me 23, I mean, almost 24 and 22. It was, you know, six, seven times value. I was very, very happy with this pick. Tomorrow, against, I mean, he's played 30, 27, 27. The minutes are there. He's minimum price. He, he's a very good point per dollar um, player. So, I like him tomorrow once again. I think I may go back to the well tomorrow once again. And I could even see a, this could be a scenario where even Aldridge maybe sits and he gets some rest. You know, probably not. But either way, Bertans, hey, he's playing the minutes. If he's going to play the, uh, at least 27 minutes at 3.5, I'm going to definitely be playing him again. Um, I really like this pick right here. Now, we'll finish it off. Center, Cousins, best center in the league. You need 55 for value. He's averaging 53 on the season. I mean, he's playing well. I mean, I'm not going to say he's not. In the past five games, 55, 83, 60, 38, back to 50. So, I mean, he could definitely get to value. You know, I do like him. Um, you know, I don't. I just don't know if I'm going to pay up at center, um, especially if Drummond's in. He's going to be battling with Drummond. I think it could give DeMarcus Cousins a little bit of a hassle. Um, you know, there's not many guys that can, but I think Drummond could. Um, but he's a solid GPP play. My boy, I've been playing him, and I've been preaching to you guys to play him. 9,600. For him to have value, you need about 47, 48. He's averaging 43 on the season. He's going to play the minutes. You know that. He's going to be battling against Kevin Love. 
Um, you know, Kevin Love, you know, there is that little narrative of he played for Minnesota and they traded him. So, you know, you got to like that. Um, you know, Towns, I think he's a really good play. Um, I think, you know, 9,600, very fair. I think he's a guy you could plug in. And he's going to hit you five times value with opportunity of six, seven times. Um, I think he's a really good player, probably one of my favorite centers on the slate. Jokic, 8,800, fair minute value, need about 44. He's averaging 38 on the season. Um, I think he is a GPP play. I think the price is a little too high for him. Um, he's a guy that does fill up the stat sheet, but, I mean, we need 43, and he's got 43 two times in the past five games. In the past three, he's, you know, this is a little concerning. That's why I think he has a GPP play, but I like him against the Warriors. It's going to be an up-tempo game. He's going to play a couple extra minutes. Last time he faced the Warriors, he played 36 minutes and got 39 fantasy points. So, I mean, he did well. Um, So, I do like him in this spot as a GPP play. We got Capella, 7,400. Need about 37 for him to hit value. He's averaging 35 on the season. Um, you know, he's a guy, oh, like, he. I mean, I think he's a GPP play too just because, I mean, he hasn't really been getting there in the past four games, you know, the 37 for him to hit value. But, I mean, he's playing well. And, then, you know, if he could get a couple extra minutes, if an NA's out, then I think i probably like him a little bit more. Um, he's going to be going against Robin Lopez, who isn't a very good defender. Um, so I do like Capella in this spot. And then I'm going to talk about my boy I just mentioned, Lopez. He isn't a good defender, but, hey, he's a solid offensive player. He scores, you know, double digits and, what, probably 10 straight games, however much that is. thing is kind of, uh is his minutes have been down a little bit, so I'm kind of like, ugh, about that. But, I mean, 4.4, his price is down as well. Um, I think he's a solid GPP play if you want to kind of uh, pay down at this spot. For him to have value, you need 22. I mean, he's averaging 24 on the season. So, I mean, I, th I think it's fair. I mean, he has he's 37-point upside. He just had that, played 35 minutes. It all just depends how the game is flowing. Um, I think they are going to need him in there to, you know, bang against Capella. So, I think he's a solid GPP play. So, so, yeah, hey, that's kind of where I'm at with these picks. Um, one more guy really quick I didn't uh, talk about, Wiggins. You know, he got traded by Cleveland for love. I think he has that little narr narrative too. Um, you know, I think that, you know, he could be a solid GPP pay for you. So, yeah, hey, let's just jump into these um, picks real quick. So I'm just going to start with the I like Steph Curry. Boom. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it. That's what I really like tomorrow. I'm um, at point guard, shooting guard. Um, there's a there's a lot of spots here that I like. There is a lot of spots. Um, but a guy that I'm going to have to probably go with is Justin Holiday. Um, he's been consistent, up-tempo game. I'm not really worried about um, Eric Gordon's defense. Then, let me see. Who are we going to go with? Oh, I know who I'm going with. I like Anderson. He's going to play a lot of minutes. He's going to start. Power forward. I'm going to probably go Gibson. Oh. And then center. Going with my boy. I know you guys are probably like, stop playing him, but hey, I like him. I think something like this is really nice. I think this is a solid core right here. Um, you know, you got about 57, um, 100. My thing is, is I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go approach center yet. But I like Towns in this spot. I think he's going to hit value. So that's why I plugged him in. Um, but, I mean, you could always pay down. You can go to, like, Capella or somebody like that. I think Capella's in a solid spot. And then you can pay up somewhere else, you know, if there's somebody that you really like. But, yeah, hey, I hope this helped you out. Hey, if you haven't already, please make sure and click the like button below. If you want to play the actual lineups that we're playing every night, please visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. And, hey, let's get it. Good luck tomorrow.